Hey Descenders, welcome back to the channel. We finally got the second teaser trailer for Descendants The Rise of Red, and now we finally learned that the film will be coming to Disney Plus on July 12th. So yeah, we have a release date. Not the release date I was hoping for, but we're very, very close. And we also have our first looks of our two main characters, Red and Chloe. So you obviously know the drill. I'm gonna be reacting to this trailer and I'm gonna give my initial thoughts and I'll be giving my, giving a little bit more predictions of what's gonna happen in this movie. And later on, I'm going to be um, going into this Entertainment Weekly article that's given us more information about the plot that I'm, that I'm very, very interested in. But as far as the reaction, we're going to get into it right now. All right, let's go. Okay, there's Uma's office right there. Oh, and a portrait of Uma right there. Oh, that's... Oh, this is obviously... Oh. Okay, so this is red. I just noticed the paintbrushes there and the spray paint. <laughs> oh, I cover a bad reputation there. A lot of spray paint. Oh, Merlin Academy. Oh, Merlin Academy. I'm guessing it's gonna be a black light over there. Something. Black light to me. Oh, is that Mal and Ben? Oh my god. Oh, there's Chloe. Yep, black light. That's Corella style artwork. Who are you? I'm your new roommate. Roommate? Oh, I love. Okay, that's a pretty sick logo. Okay. Wow, that 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 was. I think that was a much better teaser trailer. I think I, I know I I know I love um Uma's teaser um from from recently, but I think this is. Oh man, I love this so much. Okay, so this second teaser is giving us a little taste of our two leads here, which I'm really loving so far. First, we get introduced to Kyla Kentrell as Red. She's walking down the halls of Oregon Prep, and she's spray painting the walls and all the portraits, which is a very rebellious thing for her to do. This is harkening back to when we were first introduced to Mal in the first movie, where she was spray painting Long Live Evil on the wall as we jumped into Rotten to the Core. Um, I'm assuming that's pretty much where she got her inspiration from. She's kind of a, to me, she's kind of a protege to Mal in a way, and also using um, a clean version of Joan Jett's bad reputation. I think that that kind of fits the character a little bit, especially from this teaser alone. I mean, she's showing us how she has a bad reputation on how she paints the town red. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> I had to work that in there. Yeah, you obviously knew that was coming, but all jokes aside, we are going to move on here. Now recently, Entertainment Weekly finally gave us a first look of Red's outfits, along with the reveal of Rita Ora as the Queen of Hearts and their official icons. For the Queen herself, she has a dark heart with a crown on top, and for Red, she has a broken heart. That's very interesting for Red to have as a reflection of her mother, because the plot of this movie will begin with the Queen of Hearts rising up as the next big threat to Auradon in the present day. But when Red and Chloe travel back to the past using Maddox's pocket watch, we'll see a younger version of her character who is named Bridget, played by Ruby Rose Turner, who once adopted a good personality in the Descendants universe. So in this case, in her early years being the Princess of Hearts, which I'll call her here, meant that she might have originally been an individual who enjoyed spreading love to everyone in Wonderland, and in a sense, her heart was always whole. However, a traumatic event will cause her to go down the villainous path that she's already on now, and that symbolically leaves her with a broken heart. It's almost a little bit like Evie's so with the crown broken, and then and then recently having the heart, but I think with Red just having the heart broken, that, that that's I think that's very fitting to her character. I mean, I mean obviously, we're going to see a lot of um, character icons throughout this movie. You know, as we went through from the past movies, all the characters have their icons. And basically with the, um, I mean, basically with the BKs, you know, they, the, their logos are pretty much iconic at this point. Uh, looking at this photo of Red on Enter Entertainment Weekly, I must say, Kyla Control really fits the role here. She's, she's really playing like a rebellious character in my opinion. I must say, she looks really, really good. Especially now we can also see um, her icon, especially on her shirt, that it, it that just looks incredible to me. I, I, I swear to God, that, 
I, I think I think Kyla Control is gonna crush it. Then Red passes by the door of the principal's office, which is now occupied by Uma. As you remember from my reaction to the first teaser, apparently Uma is now the principal of Oradon Prep, so she's playing a new program for other VKs in the kingdom to attend the school, which includes Red herself. And yes, China Emma McLean is back once again. Speaking of Uma, as many of us remember, she is the daughter of Ursula and now the niece of her sister, Uliana, who will be played by Darren Renee in this movie. And to clear up any confusion, Uliana will appear when Red and Chloe travel to the past. We also get a brief glimpse of the Merlin Academy Wall of Fame with portraits of each of the students in their younger ages. With the additions of Bridget and Uliana as I mentioned earlier, we also see a younger Cinderella, Prince Charming, Fairy Godmother, Captain Hook, Maleficent, Hades, and a new character Morgie, who is the son of Morgana Le Fay. Now I originally speculated that Morgana could be the one from the 2010 Sorcerer's Apprentice film with Nicolas Cage. But sometime after that, I think maybe this could be the character from the Sophia the First animated series on Disney Junior. I'm not 100% certain, but we'll know who it is soon if we get more details. And coming back to Fairy Godmother real quick, yes, Nellie Paxson will be reprising the role as the present day character from the first three films. Then we're introduced to Malia Baker as Chloe who is the daughter of Cinderella and Prince Charming. And those two are finally making their Descendants debut as Brandy and Paula Montalban will be reprising their roles from the 97th film adaptation of Cinderella. And then Chloe walks into the hallway and she's literally speechless when finding out that Red is going to be her new roommate. I think that definitely shook her to a core because you know, having a VK as a roommate if you're an Ordon kid, that's probably going to be terrifying for you. But you know, after these three, you know, times have changed. We opened the barrier to the Isle of the Lost and all the VKs have been, um, they've been transferred over to Ordon. So now VKs and AKs are basically living together right now. And I must say from her costume, also on Entertainment Weekly, she, she definitely looks incredible. I think maybe a little bit more than Chloe, I mean, excuse me, um, Red in my opinion, but but, I, but honestly, I do believe that both of these characters look really, really good. But I, I, and also, I must say, um, from Chloe's look alone, she, I think she looks more badass, especially with the fact that she has a sword with her. That 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 is insane. I, I'm I'm still trying to di digest of what's going on here. And I, I I think from the also with the extra detail details on the costume, she has some. She has like crowns on her jacket, and I think in, I think in, on the belt. I think I, I don't know if that's part of her shirt, but that 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 looks that looks really really cool. At, at first, I thought I thought the swords were um, probably um, the magic ones because I think that would tie into Fairy Godmother a little bit. But I but I kind of came to the um, conclusion that that was a sword. So, and also on the gloves, she has um, she has a new icon that's that's representing Cinderella and Prince Charming. She got she's got. Um, She's got a diamond and then two swords crossing together. That is, that is really really nice. And I, and also I'm gonna go into this logo a little bit more once we talk about um, you know Chad. But again, that's coming up later. And also from Chloe, she oh I think this is probably probably the best detail. She has um I'm you know I'm gonna I'm gonna call them glass boots because you know there there's some there's some diamonds going all over the boots. I must say, I, I wish the costume designer was Kurosan um, from the original movies, but I don't, I don't know who designed these costumes. But I must say, they really did a good job with these two characters. I'm wondering how this dynamic is gonna play off, and I'm, and again, I'm really, I'm really, really, really excited for this movie. Oh, and speaking of Cinderella and Prince Charming, there has been a lot of chatter online recently that. Um, that now Chloe is entering the story that this is kind of gonna retcon Chad a little bit uh, yeah no I'm kind of conflicted on this on this as well because I don't know how Disney is gonna retcon this I mean they established Chad um, from the past three movies and now bringing Brandy I mean not Brandy excuse me um, Chloe into the story it's gonna um, it's gonna create some hiccups I think with the timeline not 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 only with the time travel alone, but I think now that um, we honestly don't know how, you, you know, they brought Chad into existence. Because, you know, 
I mean, because if you actually take a look at chat and Chloe side by side, you can probably tell, you know, one of these things is not like the other. Um, again, we're going to have to wait and see when the movie comes out and see if they're going to clarify this. But this is probably where we're at right now. And I honestly can't give a very, very solid answer. I think, honestly, my personal headcanon and, you know, I'm kind of playing this off as a joke, but I'm assuming that maybe Chad's adopted, but... It, 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 it's it's frustrating to think about but again we're gonna have to wait until the movie comes out now of course we got to talk about the portrait of Madeline Bang because you know this this does raise a lot of questions now if you remember from my early videos talking about this movie um, from the early plot details you I informed you guys that um that um the threat to Oregon which which of course we now know is gonna be caused by the Queen of Hearts um, it's gonna also occur when a new royal baby is gonna be introduced to the to the world of Oridon. Now, since we have the portrait of Malin Ben in this teaser, I don't know if Malin Ben are gonna be making an appearance in this movie. I mean, it's I mean that question is still up in the air, especially for some fans. Now, I'm going to state this right now: I highly doubt Dove Cameron is gonna appear in this movie, and especially as a cameo, because. Uh, again, from my past videos, Dove has stated numerous times that she has moved on from Disney, and especially now um, after she was grieving um, um, the passing of Cameron Boyce, and as of right now, she's still focusing on the music career. And I must say, she she has done a really great job. I, I've listened to so many of her songs um, at this point, and they, they have been fantastic. But for her to come back in Descendants, I personally don't think that's gonna happen because you know after D3 there's pretty much no other reason to continue with her storyline um she as of right now she's she's queen of Ordon. I don't think there's anything else to do um at this point so for Dove's case I think Mal's probably gonna be sitting out of this movie but for Mitchell Hope I don't I don't know if he's stepping down as far as, far as we know right now he he, he has been um he has been very vocal. I mean, he he has been reminiscing his time um, on Descendants. He hasn't he hasn't addressed anything about um, the Rise of Red, as far as we know. So maybe he's still on the table to come back as um, Ben, and maybe um, through a cameo he might have. I mean, if the baby belongs to Malin Benton, um, excuse me, to Malin Ben, then maybe he could have the baby with him um, during his cameo scene. So that it's still debatable right now but if you recall um the um what was the title beyond the isle of the lost that's the new prequel book written by melissa de la cruz that's definitely coming out before the movie and if you're gonna get the barnes and noble cop um copy of the book be sure to check out because there is a hidden um chapter that's gonna involve mal and ben i think it's i think they're gonna be in they're, they're gonna be visiting merlin academy or something i yeah, it's been a while since I made that video. I barely remember what happened. <laughs> but I do think it's a possibility that Ben could appear in this movie. But we're still we're still in the blank about this movie so far. But until we get um, an official trailer for this movie. I, again, this is a teaser trailer, not a full trailer. But once we get an official trailer, I think we're going to get a lot more details about this movie. So the movie will finally be released on Disney Plus July 12th. However, for those of you waiting for the Disney Channel release, Entertainment Weekly also confirmed that the film will air on Friday, August 9th, which is a month after the Disney Plus premiere. So what's left for me to do is I'm going to be breaking down not only the, not only this teaser trailer, but also the first teaser trailer in a separate video. And I'll, also, I want to get this out of the way. I really wanted to break down the first teaser trailer first, but since this teaser trailer came out, I figured I might as well put both of those teaser trailers together in one separate video so I can break them down together. Also, I want to thank you guys for your patience on the post-production recap. I know I've been um, working so hard on that video, but since now that this um, teaser trailer has come out, I figure I might as well try to figure out a way to work around it since now we have a little bit more information from this and then I'm gonna try to incorporate it into that video and like I said once we get an official trailer for this movie I'm probably gonna go in fully in depth on 
on what we can gain because you know I know we're gonna get a lot more information about this movie um, as we get closer so I, I assure you that video is still coming but I know we're gonna be getting a lot of Descendants content this summer so be sure to stay tuned and let me know if you're excited for the Rise of Red coming on July 12th on Disney Plus but until next time Descenders I'll be seeing you soon take care